In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, I'd like to give you some tips regarding timing when it comes to title animation, especially when you have several objects that you want to animate at the same time or in the same production. CyberLink Power Director gives you some great animation options, but the problem is they can start conflicting with each other if you're not careful. Let me show you a, a very short clip where we have an example of very creative animation, but how it gets in the way of telling the message, the story that you have in mind. Just like a reader who's trying to read a great book with some great paragraphs and cannot read multiple paragraphs at the same time, so you want to make sure that the story you're trying to tell doesn't try to shout too many things from the same paragraphs or the same titles at once. Let's clean up what we just saw a little bit and I'll show you a few techniques that may be familiar but just to get you thinking. I'm going to take my compound title which happens to be on track 5 in this particular project and double click on it and then I get into the title designer. What I'd like to do here is I have to make some decisions of all these items that I want to appear on the screen in an animated way, what's the order that I want? What do I want the reader to think of first, second, and third? The first thing I think I want in this particular case is the name of the dealership. That's be, that would be my Southtown Auto. And if I hover my mouse over Southtown Auto on the left darker gray side, it reminds me I have a wipe right animation. Now, how long do I want it to take for that to come on the screen? Well, not necessarily the default. Let me just bring that in pretty quickly because I, I don't want the, uh, the dealership to be unknown for very long. We'll move it in quickly in about a second. And so if I go ahead and simply play that, you'll see the other things running, but South Town Auto takes about a second to come in. I want action and motion and speed. Now, what would be de the second most important? Let's say the next one would be the truck of the year. So I'm going to take that, move that in for about one second into my uh, project here. And then I, I'm asking myself the question, how long do I want this to take to come in? So let's go to uh, two seconds and 15 frames. And that's the truck of the year. And then I can go ahead and bring in, after we've settled on that, I'll take in my 25% off MSRP and we'll take a, a probably, let's take a second on that. So now I have three different animations, but they're sequential. Now there's some times when you might want one to overlap, but let's look and see the difference that it makes when we simply think through the sequencing of these items here in the preview screen. Okay, that's not too bad. In fact, I might even I might even slow down the animation of 25% uh, off and let's go ahead and go up to another half a second on that one. The other thing that I have here is I have a background behind Truck of the Year. I tried to install a background uh, when I wanted to do it here, right here in the title. And you can do that by simply clicking on the insert image and then take an image that you want and pop it down on this track here. But the problem is when you're in the title designer, you cannot add animation to an image inside the title designer. So the other thing I'll need to do is I'll need to determine when I want this brown item to appear on the screen. If we go back to the beginning, notice what I have. It's, I start out with bare brown, which is not what I want. I want it to kind of come in when the truck of the year comes in. So now with this done, we'll go ahead and save this. Now we'll go to our other track. In order to match the appearance of the brown bar with the final moments of the motion of the text, that it's the truck of the year, we need to do some keyframing. So I'll double click and go into my pip designer on my brown title bar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in about uh, two seconds 
and uh, let's go two seconds and oh 10 frames or so and then let's make it up to that moment we want it to be transparent so I'll click on my opacity and click on the diamond there now I'll set the opacity here in my properties on the left we'll make it zero percent so at this moment it will be zero and then we'll watch and I'll move this over just a little bit more and we have the truck of the year coming in by this moment I want it to be fully opaque uh, so I'll move my uh, slider over here I'll click another diamond set another keyframe at this moment in time and we'll move our opacity up to 100 percent and so when I preview this even in my pip designer I should see as it begins to roll in all of a sudden it's there and you almost don't notice it's so quick but it's not just hanging in midair I'll click on OK we'll go ahead and uh, play the first part of the the clip and we watch that come in and then this comes in and then I have my 25% off MSRP so the three messages I'm trying to convey here uh, come one after the other and that's not too bad so one of the things that's very important is timing if you get the timing right then people will the the message will be relayed in a way that people are not even aware of but you don't have competing messages as it were because of the action and animation in your titles mm -hmm.